Huge shout out goes out to our current channel members. If you're interested in gaining a channel membership, then feel free to head over to my channel profile and click the join button. Also, we do have a Ninjago Discord server. It's a great way to communicate with myself and many others. For more details on that, click the very first link at the very top of the description of this video. Thanks. Hey there, and welcome on into the channel for a new video. And in this one, we have some information to go over and dissect properly with you all today. As a writer behind the show, otherwise known as Chris Wyatt, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, by the way, well, he recently had some things to say as he was clearing some stuff up with regards to, well, let's just say, characters that may or may not be appearing in the story of Ninjago this year in the upcoming storyline, and some other things of that exact same nature. So instead of sitting around here in this intro wasting any further time, let's get straight to it. So, for some context to this... Well, there's nothing insane to really note here. In fact, it's very similar to a lot of other videos I tend to make when it comes to things people behind the show have said on Twitter. Essentially, though, somebody on Twitter was making a theory relating to Harumi where they kind of just assumed that she would be returning, to which Chris himself responded by saying something very interesting and something very important for the Ninjago community to listen to. And he says this, quote, I'm sorry, but it is absolutely not confirmed that Harumi will be in Ninjago 2023. I'm not allowed to say one way or another because LEGO hasn't released any official information, but don't make any assumption about who you will or won't see in 2023. Hashtag no spoilers. And while this may seem like a very simple thing, I think it serves as a very important reminder to everyone in the Ninjago community, really, to not necessarily assume people will be showing up. Now, personally, I definitely do believe that she will be returning. Just the way I personally envision the season, obviously, it does come down to theories and personal opinions on this. I could be entirely wrong, obviously. This is just my own thoughts. But I think it would make sense for Harumi to be playing some form of role in the next season, considering she's a major villain and she's just had some form of insane personality switch as she's now teamed up with the good guys. So I don't think that, that should just be left as an open-ended type of thing. I think that should definitely be explored more if they're going to give a villain such a drastic change like that. I think that not having her show up is going to be pretty wild. Obviously, this is uh, assuming that the story will completely just carry on from where it was in Crystallized. If this is going to be some form of, like, actual reboot and it actually will be basically all different, then I understand not seeing Harumi, but assuming that it's going to be a continuation of the Ninjago that we all know and love, it's pretty weird that Harumi wouldn't be t showing up but, I, but again, what he says here just serves as a reminder to a lot of people to not necessarily assume anything. But that's not all, as he then later went on uh, in another tweet and he said this, quote, Crystallized revisited a lot of returning characters because it was the end of a storytelling cycle. 2023 is not the end of a cycle, but a new series, which again, kind of a vague statement to make there. We can't necessarily pull apart exactly what it may mean, as it could mean a whole variety of things. But it just follows up with what he said previously in the uh, tweet where he says to not assume the characters are going to be returning. So yeah, I'm glad he set this reminder for basically the community as a whole. Everybody needs to hear this, I believe. And it just serves, again, as a good reminder. But again, my own personal thoughts. Very strange that Harumi may or may not be returning if it is going to be a continuation of the same story, Ninjago. I just think that that's very strange. But, but honestly, this is more deep than you may think. I think this does warrant an entire new video. And this is a whole new topic for another time. But for this one, this is what I wanted to talk about. This reminder that the one of the writers behind Ninjago has recently set. So with all of this being said, that is basically going to sum it up for this video here. Feel free to leave any of your own personal opinions and thoughts on this down below in the comments though and i will see you all next time before you head out though feel free to leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel for more and hit the notification bell so that you can be the first to watch my new content as soon as i do post it every single day and with all of this being said guys i will see you all sooner for my next one goodbye